All right, to Aaron, we want to send things over to you now, our first alert meteorologist. You guys have been watching and have declared a weather alert for tomorrow and for Friday. Yeah, the, you know, Demidis made the call on Monday. Scott and I were talking about it over the weekend. So, uh, you know, all of our spring breakers, specifically those parents, have known that this is coming. But right now, it's still calm and quiet, just warm and windy in Dallas. 78 degrees, a south wind at 20 miles an hour right now. It'll still be very pleasant with temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s, really through 7 o'clock tonight. Still a good bit of sunshine, still southerly winds around 15 to 25 miles an hour, and that is going to help to keep temperatures pretty mild, really, albeit kind of warm heading into tomorrow morning. We've got a lot of spots that are going to be starting in the mid and upper 60s, some spots maybe not even dropping out of the 70s tomorrow morning. But of course, tomorrow afternoon starts our stretch of weather alerts. So we've got a 70% chance for rain and storms tomorrow, 80% tomorrow night, 60% on Friday, and the possibility of strong to severe storms, which is why we issued the weather alerts. So when the cap breaks is going to be crucial to this forecast, you're going to want to stay tuned to CBS News Texas tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Dennis Brown and Brittany Ramey are both going to be in. They're going to let you know National Weather Service sends up a sounding, a, a balloon to get a sounding of the atmosphere in the morning. That's going to be important to see just how strong the cap is. And then we wait for a dry line to move in ahead of a cold front. We're expecting that dry line and warming temperatures eventually to break the cap. So the most likely scenario is going to be that cap breaking later in the afternoon, storms developing late in the afternoon, and then kind of tracking to the east northeast very quickly. Uh, but the possibility exists that the cap breaks a little bit earlier, and then that would lead to more storm activity ramping up, maybe even closer to midday. So that's why. Tomorrow's forecast, the cap is really important to it. As we head into Friday, once that cold front swings through, instability lowers pretty significantly, but we likely will still have some heavy rain around as we head through the afternoon, which is why we're keeping that weather alert in place. So we've been showing you this map that comes from the Storm Prediction Center, just kind of highlighting the areas that we're expecting severe weather to be uh, most prevalent. Now, I talked to yesterday and the day before about instability being a little bit higher to the east, and you're seeing that. The level two slight risk has shifted farther to the east. It still includes most of the Metroplex, but then you see this level three enhanced risk just on the tip of our northeastern counties and then kind of stretching a little farther to the north and east. So large hail and wind damage, that's the main concern. Flooding, certainly a possibility as well. And as I've been saying all week, tornado threat is low, but it's not zero. So we'll be keeping an eye on that, particularly in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. I think especially the farther north and east you are. We get to Friday. We still have some heavy rain around in the afternoon and evening. Saturday, we've got scattered showers with temperatures in the mid 60s. By Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, still a good bit of cloud cover, really just isolated showers, but highs back into the upper 60s and then uh, pretty calm weather, at least for the first half of next week.